Hey everybody, welcome to uh, this week's White Dwarf Review. Last week we did issue 36, which was very light on Judge Dredd beyond the cover. This week we are on 78, which is the next one I got, and we made it to the cover, the Spung Ones. We have some warrior surrounded by wolves attacking people. We're going to jump in. This is set in June. After last week's one, I've decided I'm going to go a bit quicker with these because I can get bogged down in the details. I don't need to do that. So let's get for it. Chaos Dwarfs. Look at them. This was the era that I love of Warhammer. Every figure in a regiment looked special. I do miss that. I really do miss it. We then get some open box reviews. We get Dungeons and Dragons, uh, Dragonlance expansion. Pandragon, I think that's it, and Cthulhu by Gaslight, great RPG. If you ever get a chance to have a go at that one, I highly recommend it. Oh, love it. Look at these figures, most of them are like free for 195, free for 195. We got Doctor Who Cybermen, the Angel Gang members with the Judge Child, pack of free orcs, some uh, looks like ninjas, samurai. Oh. And all the talisman characters. Oh, I do miss some of these figures. I wish they would bring back more of them. I'd love to own some of them. Then Cosmic Encounters. Wow, my brother-in-law is really into Cosmic Encounters. I forgot this was in this book. I should show him at some point. All these characters are actually in the current set now. They've made it into the main line. But maybe this was like their first time being trialed. They can get some store adverts and a single page for the Barbarian. I'll leave that there. If you want to zoom in, read the comic, feel free. Then get a whole page for Chaosum and, oh, Critical Mass. That actually, they talked about this in the last White Dwarf that we reviewed last week. Uh, how they were going to start doing book reviews. It looks like they finally did it. The Ice King by Michael Scott. I wonder if it was of uh, Dunder Mifflin. Uh, the Ice King, 252 paperback, 9.95. How cool is that? We then get a, oh, we get a little short story. That is pretty cool. He has a glossary of terms. That must be a complicated read. Uh, we get some adverts, Dungeons and Dragons advert, TSR days. Ashes to Ashes, a closer look at resurrection in advanced Dungeons and Dragons, types of raising the dead, a failure table. So cool looking back at what White Dwarf used to be like. Starfleet battles. Gobbledygook, a little goblin story. I kind of miss these days of Games Workshop. I wasn't even really around. I was probably like five when this came out. It's so cool. Cosmic Counters. I would love to get a copy of that. Superpowers. That's uh, a board game where, if I remember correctly, Russia has invaded the United States. Judge Dredd, the RPG. That's why we're here. Talisman. Railway rivals the game of steam power and warriors and knights. So cool. The Golden Age Adventure. So this was an RPG where you could create your own Marvel DC superhero type characters. So this is probably a little campaign. Yeah, looks that way. Love the map. So cool. Oh wow, it goes on for quite a few pages. This is a proper campaign. Oh, here we go. Judge Dread Adventure for a small team of judges. The Spung Ones. Hold it, Lawbreakers. Great piece of artwork. Uh, talks about the shift beginning in Sector House 142. Riot control, there's a theft, sponsor, information, weather restricted information, and expenses. The ISO cubes are running almost at capacity, so try avoid arresting people. Oof. Uh, games master information, we won't go too crazy into this. And it breaks it down into hours. Looks like somebody's tried to smash into Forbidden Knee Pad, obviously named after Forbidden Planet, the comic book shop in London. 
uh, Riot Control. We have a little road adventure. This looks like it was in one of my hardback companion books by the looks of it. Look at that. So it's also a map. That's cleverly done. We got a map. Judge Dredd shooting some perp. Maybe you can use this map in game. Shows what they're trying to shoplift and how much the items cost. Uh, the embezzler, Bert Tenko, he has his own stats. I would love to play through some of these. I think it'd be so cool. We've got Nick Crocker, the fencer. Um, and what we got, the Guts brothers intend to move into the bank and start their robbery. So you got to stop a robbery. you got Eric Curly Gertz, illegal eater. So he's going to be a fatty with the bouncer skill. Uh, Porker Guts. Oh, once again, they're all fatties. Amazing. Cyril Guts, the heister. And Mo Guts, also a heister. Some of them are wearing bong helmets. Amazing, amazing. Rick Macy, a hitman. Otis Peabody, the bank clerk. Aldolf Nilsson, another. He's also a city death commander. How? Ooh. I need to read up on some of these. Gianna Scrooge, the bank man Scrooge, sorry, the bank manager. A uh, couple of perps. Vince Spider, the getaway driver. <laughs> it's nice that that rhymes. And then as you go into later days, you got Fast Eddie Kinnock, who's an accessory to murder. And it seems to calm down. And then you got the afterwards, where it shows how you could progress your story stuff that needs to be researched by the judges if they're paying attention so not as long as the uh the golden age campaign saying that it's still what two four six pages six pages three different maps plenty of characters created in there definitely going to have a proper read of that see if we can bring some of them into the sector 102 maybe and we got the Chaos Death Roadshow. That sounds terrifying. Spirit of Adventure, real life role playing in the northwest of England. So that's probably a cosplay kind of group. The World of Lone Wolf, great series of books that one. Do you want a subscription to White Dwarf? This, this, I didn't realize it was this issue. This, I remember having this magazine as a young teenager and I was inspired to try and make this and I read this story and it talks about how in their game they were chasing down perps and a dinosaur escaped and then somebody tried to <laughs> rob the, the uh, burger shop and then a giant spaceship smashed into the sector. It just really inspired me to want to play. And then this guy, Rhode Island Red. This was the first time I ever saw this model. I hadn't even seen him in the comics. This was the first time I ever saw him and I fell in love with that model. And it is iconic model for me. It's my favorite one in the collection. I'm so happy I've got it. I think I've nearly got all of these, got all of them. Got, have not got, have not got, have not got. Missing free. If anybody's got them and wants to sell me them, let me know. I will pay. I'll pay for them. Don't expect you to just give them to me for free. If you do, I'll turn you into a character in my sector, but I really don't expect you to. Uh, we then got some reader's letters. A little Games Workshop advert. Uh, a Traveller comic advertising the Traveller RPG game. Really heavily pushed that line of miniatures in this magazine. Uh, played by male fantasy games. How cool. Uh, Grenadier Models, rival miniature company. Some small ads. Cool of Cthulhu advert page there. That looks really cool. I really like that. Uh, top 15 best sellers. That's cool. Tells you what's selling well that month or whenever they wrote this. Citadel Journal 3 was number one. Judge Dredd was in there though. At number 13. They were advertising for a Games Workshop visualizer. <laughs> Love it. 
Oh, who'd have thought that this company would be going for so long and have such a grip on the market now? When they used to be all about community, supporting small shops, supporting small companies, advertising other games, advertising other magazines. Look at that. And now they are just the big guys. Anyway, there you go. We've yapped on for about 10 minutes. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know. Let me know if I went too fast in this one. If, there's, if I need to find a happy medium. I think the last video was 20 minutes long, which seemed too long. This one, I'm about half the time, but I maybe went through a bit too quick. Should I just be concentrating on the scenario? Let me know in the comments. And while you're down there, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Cheers for watching. I'll catch you very soon. Boo boy.